evening, everybody. Hey, guys. We are back in Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. We have a couple of fast passes that we're gonna get through tonight. What's up first? Lion King. Yeah. Festival, Festival of the Lion King. Welcome! It's gonna be here. We are here today to welcome you one and all to the Festival of the Lion King. We finally did it. We did Festival of the Lion King after moving here. So Africa, Asia, dinosaurs alive and well. You name it, it lives here. Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Stacy would be proud. But the weirdest thing happened in that in the uh, what's it called in the Festival of the Lion King show. The the monkeys didn't do the the gymnastics. There was one not there. So I feel like one may have been injured. Maybe or something. But the thing is, like, I get them not doing it then because they're Olympic athletes. Like, I think almost all of them, if not all of them, most of them, have been in the Olympics before for gymnastics. So, like, it's kind of, I feel like it'd be kind of difficult to always have a backup. You know, like an understudy. Maybe, like, earlier on in the day, but I think there's only one more show. So maybe they, like, stay, there's, like, a, a stand in it's here until, like, a certain time and they go home. I don't know, but it's still a good show. Quicker than usual. But it was wonderful. wonderful. And the little kids behind us knew all the words and it was so refreshing because Lion King came out over 20 years ago. So. I feel like there's a little bit of like, I also, they also knew some of these parts. That's true. So I think they not just knew Lion King, but they knew Festival of Lion King, which is always fun to see and experience because it's not every day you see little kids that like remember or know the, the normal sea of Disney World. So it's cute to have them be like, I love this part. This is coming up. It's great. Bye, Don't mind Sarah, she's just getting ready for, <laughs> for a promotional photo. Is this going to be up by now? Yeah. So, we're, we're doing a sneak peek. Arts and Stripes right there is our friend from Chicago. She has her own shop and she's going to be the special artist for next month's button. Yeah, September is our 12th month as a button club so this will officially be a whole year. Of buttons. So of the Plain Crazy Button Club. Yeah, so for special, we had a guest designer, Lauren, my best friend. And yeah, so this is her club with my club, and then a little sneak peek to what the theme is going to be. Has to do with that little treat right there. I got a sandwich because. You gotta take these pictures before this melts. <laughs> okay. I think she wanted to do this this month and this photo shoot just to have an excuse to get a premium bar. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just a casual stroll through a beautiful sunset at Animal Kingdom. I tell you, something's in the water. These plants are growing outrageously large. 
to head over to Harambe because we have a fast pass for sunset. Sarah, hold on. Sarah was super excited and I didn't pick up on it. And I felt bad, but we're like on the tram coming in and we're looking at the fast passes that Sarah picked up this morning because we knew we were coming here tonight. And she's like, you see the safari? I was like, yeah, it's nice. She's like, it's a nighttime safari. No, it's a, a sun sunset. It's a sunset safari. Sunsets at 8.05 and our fast passes are so Sarah's like super proud. So we, we think that like right now. we think Simba One's gonna come back on this ride because of the sunset. Goodbye. Is this the safari? <laughs> yes, this is secret confessions right here. Sarah, I'm I'm not as bad. I, I'm just say I'm better than Sarah. I don't mean to think I'm bad. Like I have good bearings. Sarah, for one, is, was born and bred Disney. Cannot maneuver around Animal Kingdom. Get used to Animal Kingdom being open at night. I think we will eventually. I don't. We gotta watch that again because I have a feeling that like that's different every time. Yeah. Because I think that was like the elk and the, the a bird that came alive that were like from that part of the tree. They did a cool show and they went back to being part of the tree. And I'm wondering if they do different animals. <laughs> This empty in here. Securely locked. Denied. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Access. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates. Access. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguana dog. Then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger, extra large. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguana dog, and get out. crowds after nighttime spectaculars and pretend like you just watched it. Because that, that's what we're doing. Lots of people 
got dance moves over here. They do, and I didn't know that they have like a dance party like going into the evening. The funniest part about vlogging sometimes is you point the camera at yourself. First of all, you go like this and get sweat <laughs> all over the person next to you. And then sometimes you point the camera at yourself and it's zoomed all the way in your eyeball. But I was getting, I don't, I don't think we're gonna use it, but I was just getting a cool shot of this little mountain right here. And I was like zoomed in. And I went to go turn around to look at us and it was just, also, boom, my face. Forbidden Mountain is different than Mount Everest. We saw on the little map over there by the um, the telescopes, they list the Forbidden Mountain as one height and one mountain, and then Mount Everest as another. So, but it might be like the same range, same mountain yeah. range. I don't know. They were next to each other, but it's when they call us the Forbidden Mountain and they call it Expedition Everest. Which one is it? Maybe you go near the Forbidden Mountain on the expedition to Mount Everest. Because I know it's the small mountain on the side that you're carrying. No, but the Yeti is in the big mountain. Suspicious. Someone please Anybody know real le let us we know the answer down below. So, I don't know the last time we recorded, but we had a fun night, the latter part of, of our night at Animal Kingdom. Let me tell you guys, people of Disney World that like really enjoy Disney World are the best. Like just being genuinely all about the parks and the magic and just enjoying it, even if it's just walking around all the, any of the parks or resort or downtown Disney or Disney Springs. Or like someone we met today, his mm -hmm. name was Dylan, and he just goes to like the performances at Animal Kingdom and just knows the dances and, and knows, knows the, the performers. Now. And so we talked to him for a long time tonight. We met up with Sprinkle Me Disney tonight, which was really nice to just chat with Missy, Casey, and Elijah about their trip and Old Key West and... Mm -hmm. all, the, all the Disney magic that they always enjoy. And it was just nice to to just kind of walk around Animal Kingdom with them and talk about the, just the the little things. Yeah. That's what Disney when like, and like that's why you've seen in other videos like We Love Magic or Magic Kingdom mornings with just like a cup of coffee on Main Street or just walking around a resort. We just like all those little, little easy details. So with that. We're ready for bed. We don't even have any plans tomorrow. We looked and saw, what, do you have a plan for tomorrow? I don't have a plan, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah. We'll do something tomorrow. Have a good night. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>